how teachers are paid. I know the, the troubles that parents go through to provide education in the city. When I become mayor, I am going to make sure that every part of the city has got an affordable school where low-income earners in the city can take uh, their kids to get quality education. In a couple of years to come, you'll find this city in the, in the hands of a few individuals. Your city will be sold off to individuals unless you put there somebody who has his country at heart with a record to fight corruption, with a record of clean leadership. And I'm assuring you, I'm assuring you, this is the only way we can solve this problem. For me, actually, it needs an integrity. It is in coma. It needs an, an intensive care of integrity. Very sick. Very sick. And for me, if the people of Kampala would allow, you know, when the sickness is so crucial, you need to change doctors and medicine. We need to change doctors for Kampala. Kampala needs to be run and managed as a business entity, not a, a political city as usual. Why? Politics has wasted away our city. The reason we are having all these problems is because it's being run and managed as a political city. Politics creates divisive social policies. The reason we are suffering is because if we put opposition in this position, government fights opposition. If we put government in this position, government, whoever is in, is compromised. We need a neutral person to come in who will not be compromised, who will not be torn apart, but who is going to manage the city. Kampala City is not different from any other city with the exception of one thing, that for the last 23 years we've been electing politicians as opposed to leaders. What this city needs is a manager, is an administrator to manage the resources of, those, of this city that includes the people, the money, and everything else that surround us, manage those resources effectively and efficiently to cause the kind of growth that's taking place all over the world. Anybody who goes in leadership and becomes a leader who's sometimes not even elected, is automatically a politician. And every man is a political animal. Let us not be deceived here that there are people here who are nuns and others are politicians. We are all politicians. Now, 